Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we're going to be covering SQL group by. So yeah, I think this is the first time you're interacting with my tutorial. Please note, this is one of many videos under my SQL tutorial playlist. So yeah, if you want to also get introduced to some more intermediate concepts, basic SQL, they probably came before this video, go, the, go check them out and we're going to cover a bit more like maybe a few more basic concepts, some intermediate and advanced SQL concepts as we go. So yeah, if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to, you know, subscribe and then comment down below and let me know like what you'd like to see, like what what kind of, like what SQL concepts would you like to see me creating tutorials about, yeah? And then, yeah, so in case you don't have my SQL on your machine and you'd like to use it to go to the first ever video in this playlist, there, I'll show you how to upload a CSV onto your MySQL environment. And there's also a link to a tutorial that can help you uh, download MySQL into your machine. Otherwise, guys, uh, that's it for the intro. Let's get into the video. So yeah, the first question that is going to, you know, help us understand what SQL group by is, is uh, we want the total highest yearly earnings for these YouTubers by country, yeah? So what are we interested in country, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we are also interested in highest yearly earnings, yeah? So let's limit this to 20. We run it and we see what happens. So yeah, as you can see, we have a list of countries and yeah, the highest yearly earnings, yeah? So as you can see, there are like three YouTubers here following each other. There's a fourth one here and they're all from the United States. And the first one made 0 0.58. The second, I'm just going to read the first three letters. The first one made uh, 6, 6, 4, 7, 9, 4, 8, and 3, 5, 1, yeah? So this information is not very useful. Like just looking at it, it's not very useful. So I'd, like, let's say if you want to know uh, the whole like how much income from YouTube went to the whole went to the United States went to India went to Japan etc. That's what the group by can help you achieve. Yeah. So yeah, let's just comment this out, and we can delete this because we don't really need this anymore. And let's yeah, let's sum this. Yeah. So by now uh, you're probably familiar with. Uh, aggregate functions. If you're not, feel free to go check out my tutorial. I broke it into part one and part two that will help you understand aggregate functions. Yeah, so if we select highest yearly earnings, but we're aggregating it, we're summing it, yeah? Okay, now we know this is the amount that was disbursed to all YouTubers in this data set, regardless of the country that they came from. But now we want to break this down by country. So what we do here, let's try and run that. Okay, so we're going to get an error, yeah? Why are we getting an error? You cannot combine an aggregated column with a non-aggregated column unless you introduce the group by clause. Yes, clause, clause, I don't know. Yeah, so let's do group by country, yeah? So yeah, let's run this and see what happens and we also get this. Okay, so now we can see this is what uh, creators from India made all together aggregated creators from the United States, all of them together, this is what they made aggregated, yeah? So let's just see how many were they. So if we do count, um, our unique identifier here is YouTuber. Like a YouTuber doesn't appear twice, yeah. So we can count uh, YouTuber, um, and then we can say number of YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Let's run that. Let's see that. Okay, so as you can see, in the United States, there are a total of 305, and all of them together, this is the money that was sent to them. 166, all of them together, this is the money they got. In South Korea, there were 17. In the United Kingdom, there were 43. So, yeah, for context, then I'll link, I'll link the data set down below. So, it's a data set I got from Cargo, and you can go and read the description. But again, if you've been following along this tutorial, I talk a bit more about the data set like earlier on, but it's just a list of top YouTubers for the year 2023. But yeah, follow the link down below and go get some more context about this video, about this data, or just go to one of my earlier videos. Yeah, so, okay. So now there's something that was disturbing me earlier and we can use this to address it. So like, let's say we want to order this by 
earnings or by number or yeah by number of youtubers like how we do it with so because you see now it's just i don't even know what order this is yeah mm, yeah it's definitely not from the highest to the lowest like it's just you know yeah so if you do order by earnings let's see what happens Okay, we're definitely going to get an error, but you know, okay, cause the column earnings still doesn't exist. It's after you run this bunch of code that you're going to create a new data set and that's when earnings will exist, yeah? So what if you try and group it by highest, highest yearly, and oh, what did I do, yeah? So what if you try and order it by that? You still get an error, yeah? And let me return since I ran it with. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This doesn't work in the thing I use on Postgres. It doesn't work. Interesting. This is interesting, by the way. Oh, wow. I've just discovered something new with you guys. Like, my scale allows you to do that. Yeah, so for context, like what I usually use, so it's like, uh, you know, though this is, okay. Yeah, just know I use something else and that thing that I use uses Postgres, yeah. And there you, you, can't, you can't run earnings. You can't like, cause it's not been created yet. So this is very interesting. But anyway, let me, let me stop getting fascinated. <laughs> and yeah, let's continue with the tutorial. But yeah, so now we've ordered it by earnings and we know uh, India followed by United States, then Brazil are the highest earners, then South Korea, then United Kingdom for this particular data set, yeah. So yeah, let's say we want to order it by number of you, Tubers. Okay, the order doesn't shift too much. I guess UK comes fourth. I think it was lower in terms of the number of YouTubers. UK has more, but their earnings are not as much. Yeah. Anyway, so we could do a comparison of count uh, versus earnings. Yeah. And yeah, if if you're interested into like getting into the details of actually doing some analysis, some comparison, some data visualization. Stay tuned. Our mid uh, project is coming soon. So the whole idea is to create a bunch of tutorials when we do enough basic and some intermediate concepts. We do uh, base, very beginner level, single table SQL, um, SQL pro uh, portfolio project. Then we continue once we finish this tutorial, like the whole tutorial, we can do now a bunch of projects like my goal would to do would be to do like five to six sql projects and to just cover you know to show you how you'll actually use windows functions how would you actually use cte's how would you actually use aggregate functions group by to actually solve a problem statement that is presented to you but yeah guys that's it for our first uh group by uh code query yeah so yes, I think we can do two more. So this is channel type, content. I won't do three because we already covered three in the tutorial for CTEs. So I'm going to do a uh, channel type, total number of subscribers by country. So I'm going to do two and three. Yeah, and I'm going to write it from scratch. I'm going to avoid the temptation of just copy pasting. Mm -hmm. So we want to select what are we interested in? So channel type, yeah. So why is it not coming? Why is it not coming? So we're interested in channel type and we're also interested in views. Okay, so we want to see views by channel type. So again, we're going to do some as number of views 
room. So we get the table. Uh huh. So remember what I told you guys. Uh, we can run this, but we're going to get an error. Remember what I told you guys. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And an aggregated column cannot coexist with an aggregated column unless we introduce uh, group by. So group by. So now and today we're going to do this time we're going to do something different. So we're going to do group by one. Yeah, so group by has this thing for, imagine if you had a number of columns that you wanted to group by, like even 10, sometimes it can be 15, yeah, or even just five, yeah. You don't want to be writing the channel type, YouTuber. Mm -hmm. So you can just do group by one, two, three, four. So the number is the location. So like here, channel type is one, and number of views is uh, two. So group by one, uh, let's run that. So you can see it's grouped it by channel, so music, yeah? And then we can do order by. So now we can order by two, yeah? Because we want to order it by number of views. And there you go. So, and let's have it in descending because we want to see it from the highest to the lowest. And there you go. Entertainment has the highest number of views followed by music, education, people, games, comedy, film, ETC. Yeah, so yeah, uh, let's do one more question so we can do this. And yeah, call it a tutorial. <laughs> so we want to select uh, what are we interested in, country again. And we're interested in subscribers. We want it from and it's going to be the same thing. We are grouping by one, which is country. And then we are ordering, we are ordering by order by two, which is Subscribers, ooh, see what we forgot to do to actually aggregate this. So we're going to submit because we're adding all of them. Yeah, this is not a count situation. As total subscribers. There you go. So let's have it in descending. Okay, so again, uh, all the YouTubers from the United States in this data set put together have the highest number of subscribers, followed by India, Brazil, United Kingdom, Mexico, Indonesia, and X, X, ETC. Yeah, and yeah, I think I think that's enough practice uh, for group by. If you have any questions, if you'd like me to clarify anything, please let me know down in the comment below. If you found this insightful, if you've learned something, please make sure you yeah like. That's how I know this is the type of content you guys like. This is the type of tutorials you guys want me to keep producing. And yeah, if there's, again, anything else you'd want to see, let me know down in the comments. And yes, subscribe. Let's go along in this journey together, guys. SQL, I've, I've finally decided, like I've been saying, oh, it will be SQL and Tableau, or SQL and Power BI, so I've finally decided it's going to be, um, what is it called? It's going to be a project, <laughs> a portfolio project that's going to combine SQL plus Power BI, so it's going to be SQL plus Power BI portfolio project for data analysis, if that's something that you're looking forward to, looking forward to, you know, combining all the skills that we've learned so far to see how you bring it together, how you can, you know, solve a problem statement that is presented to you. Yes, stay tuned. Otherwise, guys, that's it for me. Yeah, watch out for the next one and watch out for project which is coming in very soon. Bye, guys.